What if I told you that the average sales price in Austin is up $50,000, yep, the price of a Tesla, in just two months? Would you believe me? Based on everything you see on the news, I don't know, but it's true. Let's jump right into it. What's going on, y'all? It's Mason Blaisdell, your Austin real estate agent, and we are here today in the domain. I'm hanging out in the green. It's a beautiful day outside today. Uh, just got a coffee at Coffee and Crisp, uh, right here in the domain, one of my favorite coffee shops. And we are here to chat about April stats. So again, Austin's changing dramatically. It's changing every single day. And people ask me literally every day, When's the market crashing? You know, we are frankly reading about a lot of turmoil in the financial market. Some of these banks are getting over leveraged uh, and of course collapsing. Needless to say, there's been a whole lot of people asking about when is it crashing and everybody has opinions. We read a lot of things on the news, but at the end of the day, stats are what tell me, of course, what's happening in Austin. Austin's very insulated from a lot of places around the country just because of its mass uh, creation of jobs. We're seeing tons of relocations here still to this day. And anyhow, let's jump into some of these stats. I think you'll find them really interesting. So looking at April 2023, of course, these are closed statistics using the entire Austin MLS. So Austin and all of its suburbs. Um, we, are, we saw 2,828 homes closed in April. That's pretty typical for this market, nothing abnormal here. We did see the average sales price jump pretty dramatically again at $573,597. Um, now, of course, that is average, but that is up February. We saw 549,000 uh, and again, now, again, that is up just in February, a couple months ago, we saw 520,000 as the average uh, and then 549 uh, we saw just last month. But April, we're seeing strong again. Prices are going up. They've gone up massively even just in the last couple of months. We are still seeing the average house sell for 97.7 percent of its list price. Again, that has increased. We also saw the average price per square foot up three dollars per foot. The median days on market down to 31 days. We saw as high as 52 back in February. So again, progressively getting stronger. Now, this is pretty typical of the Austin spring market. Of course, school's letting out very soon or already has in some cases. People start to think about moving. This is very normal, but people ask all the time, when's the market gonna crash? In my opinion, based on these statistics, it kind of already has. Um, and we've seen a pretty good recovery already. Looking at some medians for April, of course, again, this is all of the suburbs, so medians are really uh, a good telltale. We saw a median sales price of 450,000, again, up from 425 in February and 437 in March. Average, sorry, the median house is selling for 99% of its list price, again, up. Uh, and then a median sales price per square foot of $229 a foot. Now, comparing that to April of 2022, Again, that was super crazy COVID market. We saw 3,579 homes transact with an average sales price of 659,399. Average house was selling for 105% of its listing price. The average days on market was 16. We saw medians again along the same lines of 530. $5,000, 104% of its list price and a median down at five days on market, which is just like absolutely unheard of. And it's crazy to think back to, you know, that being our normal market. Looking at today's market though, because of course what's happening today is the best indicator of the future. In the last seven days, we saw 1,141 new listings come on the market and 1,038 homes go pending. This is the first time actually in several months that we've had more new on the market than pending. But the new on the market has steadily been really high from what we're used to. Again, spring market, a lot of people are thinking about selling now uh, as school transitions into the summer. So anyways, not necessarily anything huge or anything in concern if you're thinking about selling or buying, but definitely like I cannot encourage this more, you know, get with your realtor, get with your mortgage broker. Austin's changing really quickly. The market's picking up. We're seeing more and more demand. We're seeing multiple offers again. Again, it's not 40. 
right? And I wanna make sure that's super clear too. But two or three for really good houses that are priced appropriately are not uncommon. You know, just in this past weekend, I had three listings live and every single one sold in the same weekend um, and all sold for really strong numbers. You know, we are seeing a lot of activity in the market. It's starting to reflect in these numbers. If you don't have a good strategy and a good plan, whether you're selling or buying in the Austin market right now, make sure you do. Sit down with your realtor, your mortgage broker, if you're buying, um, make sure you plan out for this. Like the market's just rapidly changing and we're seeing that right before our very eyes. Uh, last thing, you know, again, these numbers are really typical for a spring market. I don't see anything abnormal here. Uh, of course, the sales price has increased pretty dramatically. It does seem like the bottom of the market was right around December, January. Uh, after, of course, the crazy re uh, recovery from the COVID era interest rates. But anyways, Austin's remaining strong. Tons of jobs are still coming here. At the end of the day, like, it's still Austin. And we are pretty insulated from a lot of different parts of the country. Well, thanks again for joining for another month. I hope all of these stats were helpful to you in making your home decisions. If I can help at all, please shoot me a message down below. Love to chat with you about making that strategy. And I will see you guys next month. Take care.